Hey, welcome to the Medicine Cabinet Podcast. Now here's one of our sponsors. Vain Gloria. I like that. I like it in the black. I like the way you fill it out. I love how we look from the back with the cuffs and the straps. Can I whip it? Can I whip it? Can I whip it? Can I whip it? Can I whip it like that? It's sexy time. Do you like leather? Let Vain Gloria dress you up in handmade fetish leather new goth lingerie. If you're into BDSM kink, don't even think. Let Vain Gloria facilitate your intimacy with collars, cuffs, harnesses, belts, garter sets. You can find the wardrobe for your fantasy at etsy.com slash shop slash vain gloria that's e t s y dot com backslash shop backslash v a i n g l o r i a use the code medcap to get discounts m e d c a b This episode, oh my gosh. This is Sharif, big dog. Big dog. Yeah, Sharif. Nah, Sharif is great, man. He's got a big personality, man. Great, happy guy. Great smile. Talented guy. Saying when he plays trumpet. Saying you guys should go check him out live, man. He plays on his toes. It's some funny shit. Nah, nah, nah. (laughs) Nah, but he's an amazing player, man. That high register that he be hitting, man. They don't really do it like that the way he does it. Yo, check out his Instagram. (laughs) Check out his Instagram. And uh, uh, yeah, man. Saying, and, and support what he does because that's what we're doing over here at the MedCat. Saying support Street of Clayton. And if you have any questions for the guest, if you just want to be like, yo, Sharif, you're the man. Saying, hit us up at the MedCat. Saying pod at gmail.com. That's T H E M E D C A B P O D at gmail.com. And if you want to hit us up on uh, the IG, Instagram, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Oh, look at that. Jamaican coming out of me. That's T-H-E-M-E-D-C-A-B-P-O-D. And then for the Twitter, it's just the MedCap. T-H-E-M-E-D-C-A-B. All right, get at us. Let us know what's going on. Enjoy the episode. All right, we're live right now. Medicine Cabinet. No, but we're literally live today, man. Mm. First episode, we're going live. Right now. Does Facebook or is Instagram? Facebook. Facebook on the FB. <laughs> yeah, all right, whatever. Zuckerberg, we out here. All right. But uh, yeah. Uh, Synergy. So today we have Lindsay. We have Mr. Chip, a.k.a. Shaniani. Hey. And the guest of honor today, we have big man Sharif. <laughs> saying thank you. No, no, no. No, you a beast out here, man. For real. <laughs> For real, no, I had to invite Shreve today because... Uh, Are you going to introduce yourself? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am Chris. I am Chris Johnson, C-Sharp, C-Dat. Hey, yeah, yeah. Easy. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Okay. No, no, we're about to get in. This is the medicine cabinet. We're here. We're live. Now, but the reason I wanted to bring Sharif in today is because, saying I was telling these guys earlier, saying uh, when I was... A, in high school, I was bussed out to the suburbs. There's like a few of us black kids in the school, and like we tried our own special thing, you know. And like everybody had their thing popping off, and I had like my little music thing popping off. And one of my favorite things about the music thing was like uh, being able to travel with these orchestras, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Saying putting these stamps in the passport, and like learning about different cultures, and like coming back with like different understandings, you know. Saying like I remember when I was like a young buck, it was like in a like night. I don't want to expose my age, but like it was like, it was like, damn. <laughs> what is it? 90, was it 90? You're a millennial. It was like 90, <laughs> not, I forget what year it was, 97, late 90s. But I was out in Italy and like, I was looking at these rap CDs that it was called Black Music and like, you go back with the understanding, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody know about that shit. So I felt that shit mm. was dope, you know? And then like, when I came to New York, like, even when I was in Boston, there wasn't too many other like African Americans out there really traveling, you know, like playing music. And then when I came to New York saying, you were the one I saw doing it, I was like, oh shit, saying. And then even after graduation saying, you still doing it, man. That shit's very impressive. 
very impressive and like okay. yeah man it's like you're, you're you're driving young entrepreneurship saying that i see saying what what i wanted to kind of tap into you know but uh yeah you're from the miami right saying like yeah yeah that's, from, that's where you grew up where you were born there what was the deal with that born and raised from miami florida and uh I started out as a drummer, actually. Oh shit! Yeah, All yeah, right. yeah. I started as a drummer. I just wanted to. My father, you know, he used to he just he used to just make me practice on the drums before. Like, you, what he play? He, he was saxophone player. Oh. Uh, and um. Drummer. Before before he even uh, bought me a drum set, he I would actually practice. I would put a book on the on the floor. I used that as my bass drum. Yeah. I actually I had a little drum pad. He bought me. Um, or somebody gave me, I think. I can't remember which one. And I would use like uh, uh, one of the chairs from the, the kitchen yeah, yeah. as my hi hat. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And I was taking That's lessons. Sophisticated air drum set. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Get it popping, all right. And I was taking lessons with this uh, this guy in Miami. What age? Uh, probably seven. Seven. Yeah. All right. That's what's up. And That's dope, dude. I didn't know that about you. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, we, you know, we all probably play something yeah. when we first started. Now we like recorder and like xylophone. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Recorder was the joy. Oh, yeah, it was a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was, I was taking lessons with this guy by the name of Jack Siano. Yeah, um, on drum set. Yeah. So I, I would always uh, just practice, go back, take lessons, go back home, practice, 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 and then eventually, I, you know, I, I got... Church drummer or not? Um, No. No, no, no. Classical. No, no, no. We, it was just like just overall, just how to play and read music. That's why I, I like I can I can I can I can sight read music pretty pretty decent because of the rhythms. The rhythms uh, that I learned when I was a yeah, kid. Yeah, that's the hardest part. You know. Yeah. And I mean, he was just like he was just a good, just good overall. Good, good foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was out in Colorado. Uh, what was it? Ninety seven. Yeah, or two thousand and seven. I mean, damn. Messing up these years, <laughs> 2007, <laughs> and like, uh, and like, uh, I was at this, I was doing like a little outreach thing at this monastery school, you know, and like this little kid was like five years old, maybe like three, four years old, maybe, and like his name was Hawk, so he was like an Indian, mm -hmm. and he like, uh, uh, what's it called? He counted to a thousand, you know what I'm saying? I saw him like pick up these blocks, he was like ten, one hundred, one thousand, like twenty, and like yeah. this little kid, I've never seen a little kid like, like, like so quick with the blocks like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and like, uh, it's like crazy what you can get from like just the early, you can, how much you can soak up. Oh, because you, 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 you don't know what's you don't know what's difficult at the time. It's the yeah. best time to learn. You're just absorbing all this information. I saw Especially a baby, rhythm, I saw yeah. a baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, saw yeah. a baby speak three different languages, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah, three, <laughs> three year old, you know? That's craziness. Um, yeah. So what did you play like when you first started playing on the drum set, what was like your, what were your albums that you were like, do you play along with music or did you uh, just like um, learn from the teacher? Like, how'd you do it? I can't remember if I was playing along with music. I know I played in school. Okay, what kind of music? Uh, shoot, I don't even remember, bro. Like I, jazz? I, no, nah, nah. I, I, didn't, I didn't start playing jazz till, till much, much later. When I started trump. I, I, I learned. I started learning trumpet in the the fifth grade. That's 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 when I when I got onto that, and what got me kind of hooked. My father bought me two tapes of Miles Davis, kind of blue, and he bought me that and also tapes. and tapes, uh, tapes. Bro. Yeah, yeah, tapes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Bring it back. And yeah. uh, and uh, made it Ferguson. Chameleon album, so okay. it, it was just Very two different things. Interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So <laughs> nice, dude. That's a cool little collection right there. So that, you play drums. So that sounds like it? you started with jazz. Yeah, 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 yeah. But on the drum set, it was like you just I, were I playing guess school, whatever school beats music. you could. Yeah, whatever you could, whatever you could man. That, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, just simple, just simple just beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, because what like, from seven? What is that like second grade? So from Something second like grade that. to like third grade or fifth grade. Yeah. Did you say yeah, fifth grade? Then you did trumpet. Yeah, and then I, I switched over. Just you know, I don't I don't know why it just switched. I wish I actually stayed on drums. I mean, or at least kept it going. You have a drum set now? No, no. I actually been thinking about getting one. I think you like electronic yeah. or something. Right. 
I think I would yeah, after get electronic full set. Yeah, for the apartment. Yeah, right. Yeah. Neighbors. Yeah. I'm thinking about get a basement or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What's the call like? So, so who were really like your like? Uh, so when you switched over to trumpet, you said it was like fifth grade. Fifth grade. And you just had so your father just bought you trumpet. You don't know why you even switched over. Or? I mean, I just, you know, I just got bored of playing drums. That's just what happened. I just right. wanted to do something else. I was bored of it. All right. The trumpet come easy to you too or not? Like, uh, trumpet's um, such a long commitment. You know what I'm saying? Because that's to make a sound. Yeah, Most yeah. kids like take what? Like, like a year or something like that? What? No, I don't take take you a sound. Like, yeah. like at first they give you the they give you the mouthpiece. Yeah. Take it home and try to buzz, and then you know you start playing some of the the, the songs in the book Hot Cross Buns. I don't know if y'all y'all remember uh, that. That's yeah. what I can play on recorder still. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the three notes. <laughs> yep. Wait, Suzuki training? Or are you talking about you do Suzuki training? Did they have that trumpet too? No, 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 no. All right, but you'll play that too. All right, it was in Suzuki. I think it was in every like beginner. Yeah, I'm about to say you on another yeah. level, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Stage <laughs> of like every. Learn how yeah, to play this instrument. Yeah, recorder, whatever you got to do it on, bro. Hot, hot cross buns. Yeah, <laughs> I played all them joints, man. You know, we all played the bells. So, so like, so you said, yes. so, yeah, uh, so you started in fifth grade. So, like, what was like uh, some big marker points, like? Grammy band stuff or like uh, you guys did that? Yeah, well, in between fifth grade, yeah, yeah. Grammy well, band. Band. That's such a, band. That's such a big I mean, step, like before right? that, like you did any of that stuff, like because I had all states growing up. For, yeah, like, I mean, well, just, you guys, just 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 you guys had that too, but like, was there anything else in between? Well, well, just to rewind a little bit, my father, he he was probably my one of my biggest influences because he was a saxophone right. player. So yeah, when I was younger, yeah, yeah. we, we we would always. Uh, Play duets together, like. All right, right. That's, my, no, no, that's, now, that's tight. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Right so, there. my my first one of my first encounters with the blues was uh was was a tune uh, called Blue Monk. All right. Ba da da da, ba da da da, ba da 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 da. So, but we would we would we would play that as as duets. So before I even knew what a blues was. Um, I was I was already being exposed to it just by by playing those uh those, those yeah those yeah. type of tunes tunes and stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 so later on down the line um, if you want to fast forward a bit uh, I I was taking lessons with a guy named Melton Mustafa who was from the Count Basie Orchestra he was that teacher for me that he was just so he was so good he was cool man cool guy and I I kind of wanted be like him so I'm yeah. like man I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this music for real and I'm uh I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna make it I'm, I'm gonna do it yeah. uh, how old were you when you started working with him? Melton Mustafa? Mm -hmm. uh what the summer going into my sophomore year high school okay damn oh, what's okay. that what's that like that's when you decide you're gonna yes. be a musician 15? yeah 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 around yeah. that time that's when you decide you're gonna like be a musician like that's when you knew yeah, that's when you got to make the choices about that time, right? Because you're yeah, playing yeah, yeah. sports or you're playing music or you're doing something. Yeah, yeah. You know? and, and also, I, also, I, I, I pretty much for the for the most of it, I've been in art schools all my life. Yeah. So oh, I, okay. I, I'm like I've been surrounded by artists all my life. So did you wait? Uh, you only went to conservatories or like music schools, like for college for after after uh, after high school, I mean. I went to Manhattan School of Music, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah. you know, but when I went, my my high school was a high school and a college, like New World School of Art. New yeah. There's a high school program, there's yeah. a college yeah. program. But to be honest with you, we had we had juries and all that stuff in high school. By the time yeah. I got to New York, man, it, 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 nothing. It, yeah, it was nothing. It, it wasn't regular. like a big. Yeah. I mean, right. the hardest thing was like I moved here alone. You know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I was like a part of. <laughs> What you said? You moved here after high school, like from right college? after, right after high school. Oh, okay. like, I'm coming to New York. Well, actually, I I came to New York because my father was like, uh, if you wanna if you wanna uh, be, get good or be good, you have to come to New York because all the best musicians are here. Because I got I got two scholarships, uh, one at Florida International University. They offered me a full scholarship, so I was thinking about shoot, I can just go here, stay home. Yeah. Um, but then I got a scholarship at the Manhattan School, so I'm like, shoot, I guess I'm going to New York. Of course. <laughs> Get yeah. out of here. Yeah. 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 But I'll be honest with you, I, I didn't think I, I, I made it 
into the school because I didn't think that audition went well. I remember walking to that audition. I remember I saw Lou Soloff in there and I saw uh, Justin Choche was there and I saw uh, Steve Teray and Steve Teray, he had like a, a bottle of water and I remember I was going down the line shaking everybody's hand. I was just so nervous. My hands are shaking. <laughs> but I accidentally knocked over his bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespect. I like yeah, that. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I was just like, no, man. It just, yeah. just I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause high pressure in there too. Well, I, 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 I used to have this. I had this video called Dizzy Gillespie and the United Nations Orchestra. Yeah. And uh, Steve Teray is on there, so I used to watch that video all the time. So yeah. you know how it is, man. If, you, if if you're not from from New York, and then you 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 go here, and then you start seeing people that you've only heard about on albums or seen on TV. Oh, yeah, they're like, yeah, they're, like, yeah, they're, like, yeah. they're rock stars. Yeah, yeah, they're, like, they're rock stars yeah. when you go in there and you're course. a jazz like student, like in what, 16, or 17, 18? Oh, right? yeah, they yeah. are rock stars. Yeah, they're completely. literal rock stars. And you haven't even seen them down in Florida yet or not? They haven't, they haven't I mean, you, you see some people. Yeah, okay. you'll, you'll definitely see some people. You know, there's a, there's a lot of great musicians that come out of, of course. Florida and, yeah, yeah. and uh, Miami. Um, just in general, like this, this, the system down there is, is is pretty good. I would say, like, cause a lot of good cats come out of there. That that can play. The thing now, what, what we are missing. I mean, where everybody's missing. And when you move to New York, it, you you kind of you kind of puts you a. There's a lot of competition. Put a little edge on you. Competition out here. Yeah. 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 You get to watch. Sure. Cause you might be the cat in your in, oh, in yeah. your city, but oh, you come to yeah. New York, like everybody can play this joint. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely a humbling experience. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no matter who you are, that's that, that definitely put me in check when I came to New York. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. this person's good. This person's good. This person's really good. <laughs> I remember the, when I first got to Manhattan School. Uh, there was uh, we had a uh, jam session in the dorms on the second floor. Oh yeah, for for, uh, for all of, for during orientation. Oh damn! So yeah, all, all yeah. the cast were just meeting each other. And I remember just hearing everybody. What's going on? Yeah, I'm like Adam. I had the Adam exact experience my first year. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Just being like, oh my god, you do that, and you're also like one of the best people I've ever heard <laughs> do that, and then you do that, and you're also one of the best. Yeah. <laughs> now Manhattan's like one of the top dog schools, though, right? Yeah, so. Oh yeah, man. So we got a lot of that. Kind of like competition, but like a lot of talent just there. But I was well, actually like was that there. first day, right? Everybody's <laughs> trying to like put their best foot forward. Oh yeah. Know? And so, you know, I feel like I remember just being nervous on that first day, just being like, oh man, I like left that first little jam. Oh yeah. Being like, Me I, too. I I put I ruined my whole college career. Yeah. You know, like I didn't play very well, so these guys yeah. think I'm a hand. I ended up leaving too, man. <laughs> I, no, it's funny, oh, like man. hearing like some of the some of the things we're saying about the past. With some of those teachers like that you wanted to be like cause from the Count Basie band, what's his name again? Yeah, uh, Melton Mustafa. Yeah, uh, Melton, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was like, is that where you kind of got your interest to kind of be like a front lead man? Is like from him or is that from... No. Where did that come about from? When I, when I moved to New York, the first band that I was in and, and when I did my first touring and everything, uh, it was a band what, called Milo Z. When was your like the first tour in the country or first tour in the states? Uh, first tour out the country. Um, yeah, it was out the country to Greece. All right, what year was that? Um, I think two thousand three. You were playing lead lead on that? Well, this, this is a funk band. Okay, so you're just part of it. Okay. It, it was yeah, myself yeah. and a saxophone player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, okay. or a trumpet sax trombone. Yeah. So, but, you know, in that band, everybody has to, like, move and dance and play and all all, right. all that stuff. So, I and I, I, I couldn't do any of that stuff. I, I, I couldn't, I'm serious. I couldn't, I couldn't move at all. Like, I'm, I'm like, completely. You're from completely, Miami. That's a good, like, it's a dancing spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I tell you, I didn't. I was, I, was, I was the oddball in that. All right. But, you know, I... There was this uh, saxophone player, uh, I mean, everybody can move in the band, but this one guy who, who really, I guess, kind of pushed me because his name was a saxophone player named Kareem, Kareem Walks. Yeah. I mean, Kareem Walks, dude. Yeah. yeah. 
But his showmanship was just so dope. All right, like, <laughs> like I had no other choice but to step up my game. Yeah. And it, it, it really just pushed me. Just like we were just so tight. Like as far as just like yeah, uh, yeah. visually and everything, man. Getting the numbers yeah. together and like every song every, having a everything was just, it was a, it, it was you know. And uh, watching Milo, Milo, Milo Z, he's the, he's the singer, the front man, it's his band. Yeah. And uh, the way how he puts on the show, man, he just knows how to just grab that audience. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just take take control of the of the audience. Just you know, just when you it's it's mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's I don't even know how to explain when you just have the audience in, in the palm of your hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah. it. Um, no, there, there was one time I did a play in high school. And like, uh, it was like a student written play. And I was like the principal of uh, whatever the play was, you know. And it was like a comedy. And like, I like told the, saying the writer's first joke and the crowd responded, you know. Oh yeah. But to have that control, you're like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when they first respond back to you, you're not yeah, expecting yeah, that. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, like attention. Like you're like, oh my God, I have everyone's attention. Yeah, yeah, pretty pretty nuts. I, I think for me, what, what uh, got me into that, uh, Front man stuff, I guess it it kind of happened by accident. Cause I, you know, sometimes you don't realize how much you learn just from being around people. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Cause I was at a bar at college uh, doing a actually an opera, uh, fe featuring uh, Lauren Flanagan, and um, but there's like a band inside that that part of the show called the Angel Band. I guess it's kind of like a kind of jazz jazzy type bands in the show yeah but anyways we, we we were out there doing that show but afterwards we ended up booking this gig at this place in Tivoli New York it's called the Black Swan Pub and uh on one of the Saturdays we we, we booked the show yeah uh, it was called, we just stayed under the same na name it was the angel band from the show all right yeah. uh it was it was in fact, we don't think we even had bass. I don't remember, but it was it was uh, Marion Felder on drums, uh, Ayodele on guitar, Marcus Young on trombone, and myself. And I think that was it. And whomever else just wanted to come up and just rock out. But what happened was, uh, I'm looking at the audience, and I know I have experience like just like you know rocking out in front of crowds, but I've yeah. never done it myself. Yeah, and the yeah. microphone is just, just, just there. I'm just, yeah. nobody's on it. And yeah. I, at, at one point, you know, I just got on the mic and I just started hyping up the crowd. Give me this shit. And then everybody <laughs> just started. It just, it just like, it like the whole place just erupted yeah. into a party. Yeah. 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 So you were born right there. Like we were born again right there. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's no but a anybody that's been in, in, in Milo's band is, can, can put on a show. Uh -huh. You know, that's. So what is the show like? What what's that what's that band? Because I don't know. The, I my don't know my, my was a funk band. Okay. A uh, funk band. What's it, unique funk about band. This is when you were in college. They were in this band. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The band's still around. It's still it's still playing. I'm, I'm not I'm not in the band anymore. But it's kind of it's, it's like a it's like a junior varsity type of team. Like yeah, brings people up, saying so gets them to the next level kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, all right. Okay, I see. It's like I was getting the jazz in school, but I was getting like the hands-on putting on a show. Was it like yeah. super <laughs> tight arrangements, or was it like improvised music, or what was? What no, was it, the it, show like? it it was it was it was all arranged. Everything was yeah. was planned out. Like okay, even with the moves, the the okay. hits. Yeah, it was it was Michael Jackson type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So everything it's choreographed, it's choreographed, and ready to go. So yeah, it's a clean, <laughs> clean show. Nothing's clean. by chance. Yeah. More, more along the James Brown lines, I would say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what Michael Jackson got. Oh yeah, yeah, true, yeah. true, 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 true. <laughs> yeah. true. So but true. Yeah, but yeah, it's tight. No, cause cause I'm hearing like your little stories and like you know like like not little stories but, like big stories and like see how it all comes <laughs> together to make the big picture that is that where we throw in the short joke? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Right, right. Now, right, T, right. now TJ, yeah. now they knew me. Now TJ was going to do me. TJ Robinson was supposed to do me. And he was the one who was laid out all the short jokes. Oh man, TJ would be cutting me up right now. TJ would be cutting up. Let me have some of the the holy water. Yeah, no, no, but no, but it's all starting to make sense. Like how you're able to do what you do, you know. But like, but like, uh, you know what? One, one more thing. I just want to point out one more thing. Uh, what, what, what made it official? Official? Got the cupcake? I oh, yeah. Are we, no, I'm listening. I know the cupcake oh, is like. distracting. Oh no, I'm good right now. I'm good right now. <laughs>
what 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 made official uh, for me to make that transition that I, that I knew I didn't, I didn't want to just be a trumpet player no more. I wanted to be like a total performer. Yeah. Was I, I was in uh damn, what were we in? We were in Athens, Greece. It was with that same band, Milo. Yeah. And because we, we, we were on tour over there, this was like in I think two thousand six maybe. Yeah. Um, it was like six months before before James Brown died. Um, yeah. But James Brown was performing in Greece, and we, I mean, I had no say in this. I was just, you know, I'm just in the band. But uh, yeah. uh, we had we had the choice either we could open up for James Brown, oh, or damn, or uh, but we, but I think we were not going to get paid if we open up for James Brown, or we can perform the next day and do our own show. Okay. Ooh. And, uh, what was the show if you had to open for him? You still play the same thing. Yeah, probably it'd probably be a shorter set or something. Who, who yeah. knows, you know? Yeah. yeah. But you get the open for James Brown. Yeah, but uh, the, All right, the, so leader, the leader chose to do the own, his own show. So the leader said, fuck James Brown. No, no, no. We, 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 no, no, no. He definitely said, yeah. He, he has. Yeah, he said, money. fuck James Brown. <laughs> nah. We're going to do it. There's a lot more copacetic than that. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, not at all. That makes more sense. Like, because you got to pay the band, so you want your people to eat. It's like, I get it. So, like. But, but Milo, he knew the trumpet player in the band, because they used to play in the band. Uh, back in the day, yeah. And so we we all got to go backstage and like hang with the James Brown's band. Oh, that's what's up. You mean I, you mean James Brown? Well, this is what happened, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, I was I was backstage. It was an out, out, outdoor venue, and uh, these these double doors open, right? Yeah, this is true. This is a true story, man. These double doors open, and all these CIA looking people started walking out the door with their earpieces and stuff. Like and agents. They, yeah. Agents. And next thing you know, James Brown. Comes out and it's like uh, like maroon color type. The yeah. <laughs> Wednesday, you in a Wednesday or the two yeah. piece? Was it velvet? <laughs> it was just. I don't know. It was kind of. It was kind of silkish. Silkish. Uh, <laughs> it was shiny. It was shiny. Uh, it was shiny. Nice. Something that's breathable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. And luxurious. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. There was there a cape? No, it was a suit. No, nah, he had a yeah, cape. Nah, that's the that's showtime. That's the yeah. showtime. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he came out. It's when he came out, man. You know that. You know that that episode uh, of the Chappelle show when he's talking about Rick James that that aura. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's I saw Smoke that aura on the corner of yeah. James Brown when he walked out because he went. He wasn't that far. He was like, a, a, he was just hanging, just hanging, just hanging. I could have said hello, but I completely froze because I could I couldn't believe James Brown was just like. Yeah, and then he, but then he walked on stage. He walked on stage and and just rocked the audience, man. Like it's crazy. That's when, that's when I started getting to all them hits. Like my band kind of changed. It changed a bit now, but it used to be more, more funk, more like yeah. James Brown. Like, and I used to dance, dance more. I used to like actually practice okay. those moves. Split. Can you show us that we're live now, sir? So. No, I can't. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not. We're going to break stuff in here. Shoot. I don't know if I can do it right now. <laughs> you know. You got to stretch out for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out <laughs> but, you know, it, but the way how he performs, he, he has the band angle, so all eyes are on him. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's, it has to be, everything has to be tight. Yeah. If he says something, He's infamous boom, for that. boom, yeah. boom, you know. It's clean. So you come at a triangle formation also? Is that how you do your thing? <laughs> the Phil Jackson, you do the No, I, 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 I mean... Mix. <laughs> no, I, I don't do that, the angle thing, but yeah. uh, I do tell everybody all eyes on me. Like, watch me. Listen, li listen, I'm, I'm giving all the cues. You say it verbally or like with your, with your body language? Mainly verbally. But yeah. So you're that kind of you're that kind of leader. Like you, when you, if if you uh, if you do have everyone's eyes on you, you like to take charge. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. Shots. That has to be. Well, that, that, that needs to be a conductor. If you know, this, this is the thing. I decided a long time ago that I didn't want to just have a jam band. There's a difference. Yeah. Between, and, a jam, oh, yeah, yeah. And, and there's plenty of jam bands that are killing. That's killing. Oh yeah, yeah. But you know, jam band can, can be too loose for me. You know what I'm saying? You know. I think uh, if I have a certain song, maybe there might be a song in the set where things yeah. are just like that. But for the whole show, I don't want the whole show to jam. Like I want things to clean. Well, I think tight, I think that little discussion precision. with musicians is is interesting because in one sense, in my opinion, mm. every band is a jam band, yeah. right? There's some form of improvisation. Oh, there. most definitely. There's some degree of it, but it's like you don't want to have that illusion that you don't have your shit together, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, worst yeah. thing to see where you're like, ah, it's not really that tight, or it's. 
you know, they didn't really yeah. practice. That's so why. I, that's why I want to go to a fish show. <laughs> so, no, they just, dude. Well, they good example. 13, right? This is like thirteen shows. Thirteen days, man. and everybody's going to that shit. I think it's a jam band, right? Yeah. yeah. Isaac yeah. went like four day, three yeah. days, and like I couldn't like imagine. Like people went thirteen days in a row. My friend Isaac, shout out Isaac Kaplan. I but that's also imagine. like what they do. I yeah, couldn't like, imagine. I couldn't imagine. That's not gonna be. Yeah. But you know, but, like that music, I I respect them. Fish is an interesting kind of show because they're a jam band for real. But yeah. You know, so they, they did, like, a, a themed show every single night, this, this like, 13 shows, yeah. for instance, where mm-hmm. they did, like, like themes, like, it was, like, chocolate donuts, so it was, like, all songs about chocolate, and then they had, like, Red Velvet, so it was, like, Velvet, you know, they, like, Velvet Underground, I think Velvet Underground songs and stuff like that. Yeah. But it takes, uh, like, it takes real work to be able to do that kind of stuff where you're yeah. really, really getting deep to your repertoire band. like that and jamming mm-hmm. on it, but... You know, I, I even had friends that went to some of them at those shows. They said that, like, out of the 13, they're, not all of them were the high caliber experience that they know. I mean, a, a dope is. jam band can be killed. Exactly. Like, yeah, really yeah. killed. They just didn't make it to that, they didn't make it to the top of that mountain on some nights. And that's, yeah. like, the risk you take with a jam band, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, for people to have it tight, right? Yeah. Like, it's, like, a totally different show, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, it, I just think there needs to be a leader. Some, yeah. somebody, somebody needs to take control of things. Mm. That, you know, if, if if it's a group band, there's a lot of opinions and everything. And um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot. Or somebody, or if it's group band, just like somebody's going to have to make a decision. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. let's do this or this all. You know, just yeah. or just to end it. Yeah. Even sometimes, right? Someone's got to call the ending. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm a, I'm a big fan of just putting on a show. Yeah. Like Michael Jackson style, like, and James Brown style. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I keep on calling like Michael Jackson, but Earth, like, Wind and Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but know. like just watching him like do his thing, saying like uh, just like uh, from This Is It, saying whatever, and then like watching James Brown documentaries, saying like everything was down to a T, man. It yeah, yeah, like, yeah. There's no if, ands, or maybe's. This is uh, what's about to go down, and like slam dunk every time. You know? But they were like mm-hmm. conductors. Of the, it was like a show, like. Oh yeah, like Leonard Bernstein kind of put on a show at some, you know, in some ways. Like it was just such a like thing, as the conductor of the band. Like you went to watch him conduct the yeah. band oh, or yeah, the yeah, orchestra. He, he definitely, <laughs> he definitely held it down. And some conductors have that, <laughs> I remember that presence. Do them all right now. Yeah. You ever go? Did you see? No, I just remember I, was, I had this. Uh, we had a in high school. We had this guest conductor for the wind ensemble. Uh, it's a guy named Roby George. Yeah, and, these uh, guys have great names. All the Roby George. <laughs> this cat, this cat <laughs> was, was known. He, he's known in Miami like he's one of the dudes, man. Like he's yeah. conducting in classical. Yeah. Um, but I just remember when he came in, like the the the, the, the workshop. We sound we sound okay, but when he when he came in there, I don't know what he did, but when he conducted. He he made that band sound instantly, yeah. instantly different. No, there's there's some conductors I work with, <laughs> like their hands are doing like very minimal things, but like they they're, they're showing everything within the stick, you know? Yeah, yeah. And like it looks very simple, but like when you're showing those little bits and pieces and spices and whatnot, mm-hmm. everybody gets and there's no complaints. Yeah. You ain't gotta look to your partner and saying to see where y'all coming, saying it's, it's, you just know he'll just give give you a look. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know, and then you just you just know and like you believe and like some of them have such a their name, so you respect them so much. Exactly. You, you don't yeah, want to yeah. fuck up in front of them. Well, of I've seen I some. I've like, seen some of those conductors. Like I remember at Manhattan School of Music, like people that were conducting majors. Yeah. You know, like I remember just being around some of them before just school rehearsals where they were becoming conductors for the first times. Like some of them were like percussionists or whatever that had then taken on the responsibility of conducting and you would just see them for an hour before like looking over the score prep knowing every little thing and then afterwards like 30 minutes of like coming down you know like because they went to this state of mind where when you're in charge right you got to be like you got to have everybody's thoughts in mind you're, you're you got to have your thoughts in mind I mean, just the same way with what you yeah, were talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I mean, whether they're making they're making a show for the orchestra, but you're doing it for the, the band yeah. and the... Yeah, how many people in your band? Um, uh, five. 
five. So, 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 Around five. So the band varies. So like seven. In, gen- five, in general, in general, five. five. The, the 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 core bands: piano, bass, drums, percussion, trumpet. I changed the format. Yeah. But, um, but sometimes I have guitar and two other horns, Say, and, like, and a vocalist. So so so, like so, I, so like how scheduling the man behind the curtain. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> like how scheduling with that stuff, you know? Like, is it pretty crazy? Or you got. Oh, I thought someone was coming through the door. I'm like, who the fuck is it? <laughs> 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 no, nah, yeah, but how is like scheduling and like dealing with like dealing with the shits, you know, like with the with the different like emotions and all that stuff. Like, I'm easy to work with, man. I got this band leading thing down to a science now. So what? So what's the like, secret? What's the secret? Get what's the knowledge? respect? Re- respect everyone. Respect everyone. Oh, yeah, that's an easy that's one. That, but not everybody get, get that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get that. So how do you deal with disrespect? Mm. I don't call. Great them. question. I just don't call. Them. You just don't call. Them. Seriously. Okay. It, it, or or just nip it in the what? Just yeah, man. I I, I don't. What I, if they I, keep I, calling I, you. How many chances? I, it, it, yeah, right. What if they? What if they keep calling? How many? You? How many chances? Like, give me. Like, what are they, what are they doing though? I don't know, whatever, disrespect. Just, just you know? flat out disrespect. <laughs> you have to be more specific. <laughs> no, no, one chance, man. I, you know, one chance. I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and deal, deal, deal with that if I'm paying you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, it's my band yeah. and I'm paying you, so it's like, I'm not going to... Yeah. Uh, no. It's, I mean, that was it's James like, Brown, right? Too, it's right? Like, why, why stress out over it? I'm not, I don't want them to stress out. I don't want to be stressed. Let's just go let's just go our separate ways. Yeah, everything's, you know? got, everything's got to feel easy. That's how I feel about, like... Say relationships too. I know this is take work and shit. Yeah. But like, yeah, yeah. So it's just gotta be easy. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be easy. You know? <laughs> easy. <laughs> no, no, no. You guys. Sorry. So <laughs> <laughs> it's getting good personal. Line, yeah. It is getting it's personal. Good yeah. Yeah. That's personal it's right there. Yeah. That's definitely personal. No, uh, yeah, so like, but, uh, so you see, you started over in Greece, right? So, so, so uh, Greece was the first one that kind of. Broke you open into the the whole uh, traveling, traveling and like uh, leading with your band. That was you, you with your first band, or that was the the. the, the no, that wasn't with. That was Milo. Milo, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so when was your first like? All right, so that was your first taste outside of America. So like, how was that experience? Were you like, damn, I'm ready to do this again. Like after you came back home, or what? It was cool, man. Yeah, I, I was definitely, I was definitely all all about it. We kept going on tours, actually. Okay. Um. But he just had like a following in Greece. We went to like all we performed all over Greece. Okay. Like I used to I, I used to I, mean, I used to dress pretty much uh pretty much like a pimp to be honest with you. Alright. Like Okay. My, my red, talk about, about it. Don't even be shy about it. I dress like a pimp. I got my red hat. <laughs> My red hat on. I had and, the fedora. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the feather on it. Had the best to match. <laughs> but you know what? People, I remember walking to this club in uh, uh, Thessaloniki yeah. in Greece. And uh, and I, but I always wore that red hat. I was like my singer today. People, I walked in there. People just knew me. Because uh, like, he had the pimp hat on. Well, <laughs> like I was the drunk player in the red hat. It's like, yeah. Yeah. but you know, a lot, a lot of artists just... Uh, they have like a gimmick. Michael Jackson, he got that uh, oh, yeah, the glove. Yeah. The glove. Totally. Yeah, right. You know, everybody kind of got a little something. Exactly. Prince, he got he got the uh, purple ring. He got, he got the whole he got the hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Everything. Real the, hair. Onesie, the guitar, <laughs> the guitar with his like shrimp came through the wall with a red onesie. <laughs> <laughs> Red ones in the trumpet. But you know, like that's an interesting. I, I, I always thought that like Prince dressed like a pimp, but it was like all kinds of pimps. Like, yeah. It's a call, man. That's dope, man. That's dope. But you know, it's, it's, it's that way. You know, people have something to connect with. That's you how the, that's how the Migos got put on, cause like the way they what saying it's the right group. Oh. It's called like uh, they they uh, the three of them. They dress alike and they. Saying that they just have a presence, saying when you see them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, yeah, yeah, they, that their style helped their their growth, crisscross the backward clothes. You know oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's, that's really tight, saying that in mind, too. Yeah, yeah. But you made the pre on that. Yeah. Well, right. who knows who thought about the, the, the back of the pants, though? True, Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yet, the, yet it worked, you know? 
I'm going to buy a charter for my shit back. Like, man, what's wrong with you? Oh, yeah. And yeah, it has yeah, to be yeah. really, really oversized for it to work. Yeah, yeah. Those things. Or else it's going to hit your hips in a weird way. Thank life. God those things are over. I was going to say, I have a giant idea. Definitely at some point in the 90s. Chris Cross is my shit. I hear you. Speaking of tapes. It was. Like, right, right, right. <laughs> so it yeah, like, wouldn't work with like, skinny no, jeans. Like, modern <laughs> jeans, you couldn't do. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not, right? I'm going to throw okay. some skinnies yeah, right now. Just throw them straight out. I'll be right back, guys. Everybody, everybody get out of here. But in the 90s, those jeans were plentiful, right? Those, like, big. Maybe everybody's wearing baggy pants. Shorts, though. Yeah. So, so, like, uh, so, like, uh, so, so, it agrees. And then, like, so, so, what was next? Like, uh, like, what was your first show that you were headlining saying Sharif and Friends or Sharif and... 2004, live. What's the name of the band, by the way? Uh, it just goes under my name. Uh, okay. it, it, it just goes under my name, Sharif Clayton or, or Sharif Clayton and Friends. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, 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 but shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the first show. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's what I did my shit, yeah. uh, You said 2004? 2004. Okay. There, there was a venue on uh, the east side called The Underscore. And um, that that was my first official show of my band. Okay. Um, uh, who I had? I had a whole bunch of people from Manhattan School. Uh, Norman on drums. Oh, Norman Edwards. Norman Paul Edwards. Norman yeah. Norman. That's right. Norman Paul Sam? Edwards. Like <laughs> <your boss. laughs> Shout out to Norman and Wifey. <laughs> What's up, Norman? Props. Plus Norman. It was uh, Lee Pardini on piano. Great name. Jamie Sil Jamie Silverstein on bass. Uh, shit. Oh yeah. that dude's bad. You playing with him? And Vinny Nero. Once you, 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 you remember Vinny Nero? No, I never met him. You know, you know Joe Nero, drummer. Before my time. Like, mm -hmm. okay. I know Jamie Silverstein. I played a game with Norman. Okay, that yeah, dude yeah, is yeah. a beast. Oh yeah, he's a beast. Yeah, he's that killing. dude throws down. But yeah, that was the first. That was the first. Oh yeah, on guitar it was uh, Juan Magro. Juan Magro. I might be I pronouncing that last name wrong. That's a sick name, though. These guys are all Magruel. Magruel. Names, Magruel. I think I it's Magruel. Names. These guys are all still in New York now, for the most part, or a lot of the Lee Pardini and Jamie here. They, they're both in Jamie? California. Yeah, Jamie's gone. Yeah. yeah, he's been gone for a minute. Yeah, yeah. In fact, yeah, the guitar player's gone. Yeah. Only people here, is, I guess, myself and uh, Norman. Okay. Storm and Norman. Yeah. <laughs> So 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 it was 2004 saying so pop the cherry saying so when you headlining saying so this is when you're doing your James Brown thing right like yeah yeah Imagine. I was you know but I, I was, yeah I was, I was Sharif playing in friends <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know I think I've always just been into that whole just groove stuff groove oriented stuff yeah um, dance music or just what we mean by groove um, like what kind it, of groove I guess. Yes, anything, yeah. Anything you can do. I've seen you play, I was going to say, there's so many different styles in your show. What you got going on for grooves? You got like Latin grooves, you got funk grooves, you got some like hip hop stuff going on. Yeah, I got I mean, you got all of the gamut, you know, you throw it all in there because you got so many different backgrounds. Did you have like like a lot of hip hop like influence growing up or was like a lot of straight jazz? Because I know, because like, because like my pops, uh, from Jamaica, so so I'm getting. Say, I remember every Sunday for some reason they would play like country music, and like oh, yeah. a, lot, a lot of Elvis Presley and Sam Cooke on Sundays. But like oh. saying a lot of bombs. <laughs> Elvis Presley, Sam Cooke on Sundays. Yeah, oh, crazy, crazy. Same Sundays. What up, me and Brian, Brian up in there? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we up in Brian's room right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah, I remember the OG shows. You're messing with all your stuff, Brian. <laughs> no, 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 but uh, what's it called? Uh, damn, where was I? Hmm? <laughs> no, we lost the train of thought. Uh, that's what that's, what that's Sam about. Sam Sundays. <laughs> oh, okay, Sam, Sam Cook. Cook. Okay, I'll pause. Okay, Sam Cook, and he played a lot of Bob Marley and like uh, that, like influenced like a lot of the things I was into, like oh yeah, growing up. And like uh, you said, your pops was like big into the jazz, saying like. Did you Man, it, it wasn't like he, he, he played everything really. He was more like, I, I guess R and B, funk, soul, R and B, funk, soul type of type yeah. of. Type. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he just did. He just really just did everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, 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 so you got hit with that, like you got hit with that. Oh yeah, so you got hit with the jazz, the funk, saying 
but nice did, place. But she didn't get hit it's with the. the PBS. Yeah, yeah. But but the but the, what's it called? Uh, but not too much hip hop and not too much gospel began throwing in here. Man. Uh, like, cause okay, like, okay, because I, cause no, like, I was definitely into the hip hop. Cause I was, cause I was. My in the mother church. got me into hip hop. I was in the church, so <laughs> I'm, Put your mom's I'm, getting, I'm getting the gospels <laughs> all the time. And then <laughs> your mom's bigger than the Drake. All right. She I'm, had bought, she had bought me some tape. Cause she, my mom is like one of them people. If she likes a song, she will play that one song oh, yeah. over and over and over for like a week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah. also that person. So <laughs> Like, I don't know, not again, I gotta listen to this song. Exclusively. I remember that song, Teach Me How to Dougie came out. <laughs> yeah, that shit was nuts. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was a nice minute. That shit was nuts. Yeah, I was, I was on 137 when that shit came out. Yeah. Yeah, we were, we were not childhood, by the way. D-Rose, dude, I remember that place. I would turn, I would turn my speakers out to the windows and just blast that shit to the streets. Oh, yeah. I'm like, y'all need to get some of this, too, you know what I'm saying? Yes, dude. What, was, what year was Teach Me to How to Dunk? I think it's 2007 or some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was yeah. medical, right? Yeah. I was 25 yeah. years old. Yeah. <laughs> was I was like right when I was medical. Medical. It, was, it was right around that time. I was like in my late teens. So after you had like a, uh, to call a, uh, to call a uh, pop, pop, pop the cherry saying, you said you went to. <laughs> you love that one. Yeah. You loved it, dude. Yeah, it was two <laughs> times already. At first time I thought it was funny. I laughed inside. Actually, Just on the inside, the I laughed. Pop the cherry. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. We're drinking cherry pomegranate seltzer right now. I get where your mind's at, dude. The cherry is yeah, just that's, that's, so. That's, that's what it's happened. the it's the cherry. That's it. <laughs> no, but after you like uh, so so you so uh, so what was your first country that you like traveled to? You said like because uh, we. Was it Greece? No, no, no. I mean, which, like, where you headline? I mean. Oh, oh. Um, Malaysia. Malaysia. Oh, shit. Okay. That must have changed. My, a friend of mine. Which band were you playing, and that brought you to Malaysia? How did you build those connections? Like, you, you know what? Myself, um, Norman, and uh, Marcus Young, the trombone player. We we had a band together that's called Phase Three. Yeah. And that was like our first. Uh, Phase Tour. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that that actually that actually just started just us just having fun. Like but I was it actually started I played trumpet on the gigs, but it actually started me just playing bass in the band. Alright. Oh, okay. Norman, 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 just letting that one out right now. Uh, playing bass as well. <laughs> I don't know. Man, I just you know, a little bit. Touch it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh Marcus was a trombone player. You know Marcus, right? Which was Marcus Young? Like, Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Well, he was yeah. playing piano in that band. Yeah. So it just all started out as just like friends just jamming out. Right. That's what, yeah. And it just kind of just developed into something. And we went over there. Of course. We stayed for a month in Malaysia, the month of December. So, and we had like a. a now, did Christmas How'd you there? get into Malaysia? That's like that seems like a you know hard what? connection, Ma Ma right? Like Malaysia, you don't have to yeah. get a gig in Malaysia. No, Mar Marcus had been. Marcus had the hook up over there because he, oh. he 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 got into the orchestra over there. PMM. Mm. Oh yeah. Malaysian, uh, okay. Philharmonic. Okay, that's what's what? up. That's yeah, Malaysian yeah. Philharmonic. Yeah, man. He's a class So he, okay. he he was in there. He, he made a few connections, and he he he's the one that put that together. Nice. He's, he's still living out there. Okay. Is he? Yeah, man. He, he was at Anthony's wedding, right? You know yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the last time I've seen him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, wow. Wow, dude. Damn. Wow. I don't know. He, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, he, was he, is he married? I don't know if he's married. I'm thinking of somebody else's. Oh, uh, hey, man. Yeah, somebody had a lady. Is he married? Is he married? Is he married? Is he married? Wow. What are we getting into right now? Listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we got likes. Uh, I know you know Marcus. We got likes. There are oh, people my bad. paying attention to us. Is, she says this is better than Netflix. Where is Sean? Where is Sean? Yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, man. Oh man. But that yeah, that was the that was that was, uh, that was just a great tour we did. I think we was playing like every like two or three days a week. I think something like that. Alright, so how's the cost of living over there? It's not too, too crazy, is it? I don't know, it's all paid for. Oh, okay. And that's paid. <laughs> <laughs> King, that's King. King. That's the money that's 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 that. That was, that was just crazy because uh, Marcus, he already had his own pad. But me and Norman, 
Uh, we, we, we we shared this this dope apartment. This this joint was pretty pretty killing actually, man. So you know you you just imagine me and Norman. <laughs> oh, just the living like kings for a minute. And, yeah, and yeah. like wait, wait, when did we go to to oh seven maybe oh eight something like that. Okay. And then him just wilding out. Yeah, yeah, another country. You know, that's we're, so we're just new to this. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, that's so funny. We had, we had a good time. Right, yeah. right after that, two thousand, two thousand eight. Right, you come back from that. That dude played on my audition at Manhattan School of Music, and he's like the guy I first played with, like in New York City, the very first player oh, he's guy amazing. He's like, I ever played. He, he's playing on the audition. It's like John Street, Linda L, Norman Edwards, though. Yeah, playing drums. Uh. So it's like right after he comes back from Malaysia or whatever. Oh, he's been, I get to meet this dude. He's playing on my audition. I'm now like in a band. He, he's with probably this like, like happy going. Oh, I man. didn't know that at all. That's funny. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Norman and, Edwards. And now Norman and Norman. And now you two play. Yeah, dude. It's been kick. It's been kick. Spin kick. Check this out. Something's coming up. Hashtag spin kick. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, yeah that's shout out to Norman you Edwards. You spin kick occasionally. I, I mean, oh, I yeah, like yeah, 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 time, yeah. Man, you know? Yeah, yeah should, most definitely. Uh, that's what what the home. Instagram, spin kick, music, something. Ah, we're going we're gonna to get Norman Edwards. Yeah. When you need him, you know? Yeah, no, it's spin kick music. Spin kick spin music. Kick music. We're yeah, we're going to get Norman like that. We're going to get Norman like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to get his own personal interview, Sam. He knows that. He knows it. He knows. But he's such a bro. I feel like. Oh, yeah. That's the homie. Yeah, that guy's the homie. He was my favorite dude to watch at MSM, saying like, yeah. people had their favorite drummers, but saying Norman was by far the best. So, oh yeah, all it's, around. He's always been in your band like, too. Always, always. Saying, he, like, he, he, he's my favorite. That's, that's yeah. why. That's why. You know, I mean, there's always different configurations, but the, the Norman and I, we usually yeah, you guys, because I know you. Well, best friends like, also. Yeah, exactly. Because our crew. Yeah, 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 man. You know, we actually. You know, we actually started. Uh, the having uh, music, uh, you know where they had the cafe jazz and the yeah, cafe yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all started that. Music. You know when it, you like when we had like dances. Like, like, s- we started that off. Like hey, right, dude, we, I emceed that in college. I got paid to do. That was like one of my like. I negotiated that deal, bro. I, oh, I, 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 I got paid to you, bro. No, because I was this I, I, dude. I, I made sure yeah, everybody got paid on that. I remember yeah, that. Dude. <laughs> good that's, for you, hey, hey, that's good for you, bro. No, 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 no. That's what so, so what's up, bro? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I, did that, I did that from like 2009, 2012. I was the MC or something grab. like that. Oh, yeah. For all the camp, like not all the camp. Yeah, that's, that's what a boss does. does. Gets your pain. Well, you know, I enjoyed yeah. it too, but, but like but, at first I thought like, oh man, this is kind of weird because you know it's it's kind of weird environment. But then after a while, I started to have fun with it, you know. Oh yeah. So props to you. We we started a band called the uh, cause we was called the Slick Soul Brothers. Oh That's, shit. What y'all wear? What the, what was the outfits? Tell me. Oh man, we just whatever. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody had no money. I thought you had some Blues Brothers shit. I, was like, I, 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 I did have on a suit. I did, okay. I did have on a suit. No, I'm had on a suit, but. He, he was into the derby hats at the time, <laughs> so that was his thing. Um, oh, the Kangos. Oh, he, that's... Was he rocking the Kangos? He was rocking Kangos when I first read about that. He still those, got those, those are he, derby, he, right? he definitely rocked the Kangos. Kangos like a form of a derby, right? Nah. Which one's a derby? Nah, the can Wait a Oh, I see what you're saying, Mark. You're talking about... Sorry, I'm thinking... The one with the little, little I'm, back I'm, in, in the... It goes like a ramp to the back. Nobody can explain this too well. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you out there? Wait a second. Can you explain what the Kango is right now? Post up the a derby. Yeah, I think it's a Kango, but I think we talk about the same thing. Not 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 the same thing. How do you, uh. Are we, are we about to Google Kangles right now? No, no, no. I'm a. Nah, nah, nah. We're getting Norman in on this. Norman, send us a picture of your hat right now. Or verbal explanation. I don't even know how to. It's usually supposed to come up. Yo, what's up, Dick? I don't know what are we talking about again. Yeah, so 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 wait, so all right. Let's get back. back so we, we keep on losing focus. No, no, it's all good. We got we got no, stories. It's good stories. Yeah. No, it's good shit. Cupcake. No, Cupcake. It's good Cupcake shit. break. No, okay, but uh, so 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 what are your favorite countries that you travel to? Like which ones? Like with Uh-oh. like you're gonna offend somebody here at least n- one. Nah, like 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 which ones like <laughs> had the best food? Like the people was like the kindest to you or something that where you felt most at home or like. You thought like, damn, maybe I could live here. Like, which uh, one? Like, the hills? Shoot, I, I, Sam, like, more, more recently, um, Tunisia. I, I mm. love it over there. It's my fourth time over there. Fourth time over there. I was just over wow. there like, two weeks, two, two weeks ago. How did you start that? 
what what brought you to Tunisia? Originally, it was through Melody Gardo, mm. and I just stayed in touch with the you know promoters and stuff over there, and just. It was, and they, they actually called me. They, you know. Melody is like, was, we were part, we were part of her band or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, okay. all, all last year. Oh, uh, no, not last year. Um, I guess about two years ago now. And you oh. were just... Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I was just going on tour and y'all, this is one of the spots y'all hit up in. Yeah, I think, that, I think that was towards the end of the tour. Now, quick question. When you make these connections, how does that shit work? Like, Because like me, I'm very bad at like uh, rubbing elbows. I'm not like one in the soup. I, I like this right here. Like... Chilling with people, having well, a conversation. I, I, I don't saying, think. Like, I don't think having like, having chilling. a. I don't think wearing a suit. I mean, it, well, it depends on what, what we're trying to do. But I'm in the orchestra the, the, world. You know, that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. You know what I'm saying. But, I, I think the important thing is is what. Give it to me. What? The Give me the secret. <laughs> this is the secret right here. All right, lay it down. Everybody, he's about to tell you what the secret is. <laughs> nah, seriously. Or make a connection. I, in my opinion, from I mean, just from my. Uh, on research, it's uh, the art of negotiation. Art of negotiation. Are you about to say the art of the deal? Was that what, like, no, 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 and just sell it, sell it to no, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's it, it, it just it's just creating relationships. That's that's just, yeah. like, when, when it all comes down to it, it's just you just create a relationship with this person, this venue. You, you know, because I feel I have ideas. You know, saying like I mean, it, I, I read this book. I read this book about ten years ago. This is what helped me actually, and where I got that the whole art of uh, negotiation. negotiation. <laughs> Not it's called uh, How to Become Your Own Booking Agent. Uh, okay. So I've always been. Yeah, I, 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 uh, well, Google, so Google it. it. Dang, I, yeah. How to be your own booking agent. Dang, I can't remember which by. We should get paid for these commercials too. Do we should do yeah. a big commercial for? Is that uh, a relative of yours? You know, like right? how to be your own booking. Oh agent. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you said this book really helped you out. Like, what yeah, because I, I think it just helped me out because I was just clueless on how to just go about doing things, just booking things. So it just gave me some insight, just how to get get things done. Like after I read that book. I remember shortly after, maybe a few months, you know, I was like just making just cold calls, just setting up a few things in Florida. It wasn't nothing, nothing big or anything. Like I just like Florida, New York. What do you mean setting things up in Florida? You mean Gigs, like, like shows. little, little yeah, I just, I just what kind of places like bars, venues, what, uh, kind of, what kind of stuff are you setting up just by calling them? You know, that, that fascinates me. Just right there, that you could just call somebody and set up a show in Florida. You know, like yeah, man, yeah, you know, from Miami, but still like. I mean, what, what, up and setting tour up with people what, in New York. It's crazy. My, my one thing my, my older brother told me, he's like, that nah, I just I just relate this to everything. He's like, he's like, what do you have to lose? You know, if you don't if you don't call them, you're still gonna be in the same same boat. If if they if, if they just totally just blow you off and just it. you're still in the same yeah, boat. So you only it's only a win situation here. That's true. You know. <laughs> Great. I, it, I think I feel like that was I, I'm good right now. That was like, worth it right now for the You know, and uh, another thing, there's so there's so many t topics to discuss on that. But uh, another thing is uh, researching your market. Like, don't 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 call every single club just because they have music. Yeah. What, what, see who's playing there. Uh, what kind of artists they have. Yeah. And um, like if it's gonna be a hit, it's gonna be a hit. If you're gonna yeah, match, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like up with that. They, they, and then before you call, make sure you know everything about them. Cause, you know? Cause right now we're in the beginning Same thing stages. Same like a job interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just basic, yeah. It's yeah we're in the right. beginning stages of this whole like podcast yes. thing right now. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Like even figuring out like- uh, What's up, Monty Donna? <laughs> yeah, Monty, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah. No, but like to see what, like how, just how to get it rolling and like, how to bring the people in, you know what I'm saying? I guess I got to do some Podcast, more. Just, just do it through social media. Oh, yeah, of course. Man. Yeah, man. We got the Twitter. I mean, if this thing works out, we got the Twitter like right just now. started we a revolution right now. The medicine cabinet. The medicine cabinet. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we're, we, we, haven't, we, haven't, we haven't even published it. 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 We
Oh man. What about like a daily routine sort of thing? Like, do you have anything like that that like helps you? Because to be able to accomplish like this whole thing where you're able okay. to we're sell yourself, like you also have yeah. to have yeah. kind of like the mental and emotional stamina for it, right? Yeah, because most of wasn't this, this, built in a day, right? <laughs> 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 this is no, it's, this is uh, this is my routine. Like, it was um, secret. I mean, it's secret. Um, yes, that was the secret. The the night before, I usually do all my research on. On venues that I'm, I'm interested, I'll, I'll like, I'll probably pick like ten venues, and then the next day, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll start making phone calls. Like I just like do my homework on it, just, 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 just do a little research, check it out on YouTube, just, just or just yeah. see what, how many people they, they bring in. They, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. It, is it is it is it is it some place that has a regular draw, or is like, or they only yeah, depending bring, on me? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? People. Yeah. You know what? When uh, I know when I when I shoot it's, the thing about this man, it's like there's no right or wrong way. Every in the music business, it's, it's, there's no. It's, I don't think there's any like you got to do it this way and it's gonna work. There's no even, even everything that I learned from that book. Truth be told, I, I learned more just like just hands on experience. You know, yeah, you know, trial and error. Yeah, see see what works. And it's still learning. Still learning, trying to get to that next level. If you're trying to, if you're trying to, if you're trying to set up a tour, it's good to do it around some festivals. You know, cause you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get the bulk of your money from uh, these festivals, really. Oh uh, yeah, and, yeah. And then you gotta, the other dates, you can, you can, you can fill in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. All so right. Some gigs gonna, some some gigs gonna pay a lot. Some gigs gonna pay, not a lot. Yeah. So how do you, <laughs> how do you go about getting festival gigs? Like, let's say. You're calling up places in Florida and you're getting these clubs. How do you call up a, a festival, right? That where it seems like there's a little bit more you got to go through to maybe not just call somebody and say like, "Hey, I'm Sharif Clayton. I run this dope band and I'm a dope dude. I'm a pimp on stage." That's exactly Watch what it. I would do, right? I mean, but that's exactly what you do. You just call them up. You're like, oh, "I fucking run this it's shit. Me. Watch this shit. You can see it on the line right here." I'm also, making like hold a gun to their head. So you literally just call it. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> You better book me. Make, make, yeah, make, no, make no, no, but but I, I, I know people like that. That I, I'm just curious how you do it because I I know people who say that be like, yeah, do all you gotta do be calm up, put your dick on the it, table, it, and then you boom. In general, right, it, you're gonna get the job, right? <laughs> it's like I've heard people say that, and it's like, okay, well, you gotta do that a little bit more eloquently than what you just said, right? Exactly. Like, come on, that's not how it works. <laughs> so, like, like if you sell yourself that hard to a festival, how do you actually like call them? Either I, it's, it's, like, but it's the same thing. I mean, it's, it's the same thing. You, the same way you book them smaller venues, same thing for a festival. It's, it's, you're still talking to a person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're yeah. still making a phone. I either do a phone call or an email. It's, I, I, you know, obviously, it's better if you if you're going through someone or you got somebody who, who's, who's already connected because yeah, right. right. You That's know, it's better than a cold call. Mm -hmm. You know. Have you ever cold called a festival? Um. Yeah. More, I'm more, I'm more email, emailed. Okay. The stuff, the, like stuff, a, the stuff. I, 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 I'm usually, I'm usually trying to book is like usually outside the U.S. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't speak French enough, yeah. so you know, I, I'd rather. But that's cool. So you email these people and they respond to you. Yeah. And they, I mean, one the fact that they actually respond to you is also mind blowing to me because I've, I've yeah. tried to set things up like, for instance, in India. Yeah, yeah. And I yeah. know people out there, and even for the people that I do know, they're hard to respond with just because the culture is different, the time zone's different. Oh yeah. You know, time there's all kinds of variables, and it's like, like so hard right to now? keep. It's so hard to keep that connection. Um, secure. You know what I mean? Like, if they're so far yeah. away, if you're setting up booking. Is you know, you're booking these these shows yeah. somewhere in like France or Malaysia <clears throat> where, you know, one, they're, it's just like they're working on a different time of day. You don't know what's going on there during the rest of the year, mm -hmm. you know, so you got to somehow lock it down, you know. Oh, you know, it's, it's so, you know, it's crazy, man. So many different ways to go about this as, a, as an ind independent artist. You know, uh, one thing that I, I have done is I'll take cold trips oh, okay just go out there and see what it's like yeah man you go out just go just take a trip nice go, go out there just explore bring your trumpet and just play a little bit out go there. out session you sit in yeah you yeah, just go, go out, out there go out everything in. go go out 
go out and meet everybody, meet meet club owners. You go by yourself? Dude, you actually do that. You go out there, you just bring a trumpet, just roam the you go, roam Yeah, but, I, but I'm, I'm usually going out to yeah, every session. I'm just trying yeah. to network with as many people. You got people out there? You just go, like, you fly by yourself and you got people? I've had flown by myself. I, like, nice. just, so, yeah, yeah, but yeah. is it like you staying with people out there? You just go there. You like. Wait, so you're saying yeah. like <laughs> you're saying there yeah, are yeah, times yeah, that yeah. you've gone like cold, like with no, yeah, yeah, yeah. with no, no purpose, just yeah, sort of yeah. going out and figuring it so out. So what is it? The tourist visa? Then you get the tourist visa, just going out there and um, hanging out. Depends where you or you going. Where you go. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it depends where you're going, man. So you just stay there for like, what, a week at a time? Just meet people a month at a time or what? Yeah, man. I mean, I I, I know, I remember, I remember I, uh, I was on tour with this band and the band leader was like, we got to come back out to, to France because we, we was already in Paris. And he was like, you can either go back to New York for a week or you can just stay in Paris. And shoot, he, he was like, uh, I was like, well, shoot, it's a... Uh, so is, is the hotel paid for? He's like, yeah, shoot. I'm like, I'm staying in Paris now. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> shoot. That's, that's all that matter to me, shoot. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm right. like, no hurry to come back over here. Yeah. <laughs> Let them bills uh, stack up in New York. Yeah. But you know, just just for that week, that week, I, I tell you, I mean, I went out. I went out every night, literally every night, and I <laughs> and I uh, I met all the musicians. In Paris, <laughs> just met just met everybody. Yeah, all all the cats. Like, yeah, and you know, I, and from that experience, I just I'm like, man. How often I, I did, I did so much? Now? Huh? How often you go back to Paris now? I haven't been in a while, but I was I was going there a you lot for a minute. I remember that shit. A lot, a lot. That's tight. Okay, like, so you all went up there. The time. But I I don't have any, I don't have any. But you don't speak no there. French. You know what, but you know, I'm 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 working on it now. <laughs> like, be, yo, be honest, I be, I, 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 cause I be going down like Central America, be bullshitting like I know Spanish. But when shit really comes down, I, I don't yeah, know nothing. I, I'm like, I'm like, shit. You don't yes. see, like, I'm not me. I be like, we get this pollo. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, these pantalones and that's what. Yeah. <laughs> like if you got a long time to think say. about what you gotta say, you're like, I, yeah, I can't I'm understand. very straightforward. Down hey, there. and the other so, person speaks to you so. in writing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Read it out a little bit. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So so you said Tanzania is your favorite. Like right now, that's that, that's number one. That's Uchi Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did I say shit wrong? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's Tunisian. Oh. Tunisia. Oh, what is it? Tanzania. Tanzania. I'm thinking some other shit. Tunisia. Yeah, yeah. So 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 you so that's your favorite right now? Oh no 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 no! Just one one of my my spots. Uh, I like. Paris, Japan, love Japan. That's part, one no, of my spots what part right of, now. What part of Japan is your favorite part of Japan? That's what I mean, Japan can. Uh, oh. Hmm. Have That's you been to North Japan? Sapporo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've definitely been to Sapporo. Okay, Sapporo or Tokyo? That's how I Tokyo. For real? Tokyo. Man, I'm Sapporo all day, baby. Why? What is yeah. I don't even know about Sapporo. Yeah. Sapporo, Sapporo okay. Uh, uh, let me you tell you, what is yo, when I was down in Sapporo, like, Saying like the thing is, there's no black people in Sapporo. You know what I'm saying. And so that's awesome. What do you yeah. well, wait? Let me explain. Saying so when I was out there, saying like uh, it was a culture Seven shock. Inc. It was a culture shock for them and me. It was my first time in Japan. Yeah. I remember there was little three little kids in that elevator, and they're just fucking staring at me. Trying so, to like wipe your skin so off. So I so I give them <laughs> so I go to give them a high five. <laughs> I go to give them a high five, and they scream they're like ah, like they think I'm gonna fucking hit them. But then they see them not gonna hit them. Then me and these little kids just both start laughing in the fucking uh, in the elevator. You know what I'm saying? I go to the spas out in North Sapporo. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's running to go look at my dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. Dude, yeah, that's yeah. so funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one thing yeah. I know about black people. And then, they're like, and yo, dude, look it out, bro. Look I would try out. to go to the strip club. <laughs> I, I would try to go to the strip club in Sapporo. They're like no black guys, you know what I'm saying? Every bar I went to in Sapporo, everybody would buy me drinks, come up to me and treat me like special. You know so what, yeah. what you're saying is like, that Sapporo is awesome because people everyone thought you had a huge dick? No, people... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard just now. Yeah. <laughs> people would come up to me and like treat me like a king for no reason. Well, that's the reason, dick. No, no, 
not like like they, like the thing is they would treat me like that. They would treat like fat people like that. They treat redheads like that. Tall people like that. Pale people like that. People right, freckles nice, like nice, that. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Right, I got you, yeah, no matter you what dick you, no matter what size your dick was, they treated you pretty cool. <laughs> now nah, the spa was just part of it, you know. No, <laughs> no, nah, 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 nah. but like, but like, uh, and like, uh, and like, uh, I remember walking down the street. It's part of people just stop in the middle of their tracks and just fucking stare you down, like out of all happiness. Oh, like, oh shit. <laughs> But but when I went down to Tokyo, said it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers from like from like Zimbabwe and like fucking Senegal out there. So like I wasn't treated as much as a king out there. But the city was like very futuristic. I know what you mean, like it's more New York than New York. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Say it's very like boxed in, like very tighter than even New York is, mm-hmm. and then you got little tiny little streets. And the thing that's cool about Tokyo, they turn the lights off at night, saying like mm-hmm. now that I get Times Square, they keep that shit running. So it's like a dark, like Times Square you're walking through in, Ooh, in whoa, Tokyo. That's spooky. But uh, what you talking about, bro? <laughs> what you talking about? Lights. I was 2000. I was out there 2000. Oh, your lights. <laughs> you can just cut out. It's been maybe maybe a couple of corners. Just when he was where, there. Where, where were you? A couple of corners. It was like that, like Rapongi. Rapongi. Okay, if you, I mean, of course, on like a little side joint. Yeah. I mean, okay, okay. But like, all over fucking Times Square, that shit is lit. Saying all night, all day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But those are advertisements. Most exactly. Right? They close down. They shut up all their advertisements uh, at night. Oh, so you mean in areas that So it gets really like dark in the streets for their Times Square okay. over there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I was like really shocked over there. It's like to see like their like downtown yeah. like because mm-hmm. the lights are just popping like. 30, 40 minutes ago then. When the lights go out, they go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But another thing that was cool about Japan, it's like so uh, safe out there. You got businessmen like sleeping in suits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the park, like, yeah. like with the newspaper yeah. around and stuff. Because there's the train <laughs> stop and the bars are open so they can't get home, you know, but. Just like taking a nap there for the night, they're like, well, that's it. I guess this is as far as I go. No, but like. Are you sure that they're. This is business yeah, you know, like, yeah. Do wake the homeless up in the people just wear resume. suits in, in or like re- <laughs> recent businessmen who just uh, yeah, exactly. just lost yeah, everything, lost awesome. like, awesome. everything but still have the suit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. No, no, it's, it's, it's just like, very safe. Imagine. Just even like, even, the, even the even the homeless people out there are like yeah. like pretty respectful. Just They're like, keeping a suit on. Now, you know? I, I was listening to North and South again. I'm on the album. But like, uh, <laughs> no, 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 I, I, I am. Like, he is on the album. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but no, nah, no. Nah. It's a dope album. Nah. That song, I Got You On Your Mind. You wrote the lyrics to that? Or yeah, I wrote all that. So, yo, who is that song about? Is that like an ex-girl or what's that? Was that? Uh, nah, it's, it's just, uh. You just had some thoughts on your mind. I had some thoughts. It was emotional. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so, so it was a relationship, you don't reveal it? What happened? Like, you don't want to, <laughs> nah, nah, you don't, nah, if you don't want to go back, to, we don't have to open that skeleton. It's all good. It's just like, if you don't. No, nah, it was just, it was just, a, it was just a, some, it's some, some stuff on my mind, you know, you know. So, so, right. so. Right. No, right. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was blazing. Nah, it was blazing. Nah, it was it's like, like really, it's terrible. I don't want to mess up the sound. It sounds different oh, than that one. Okay. But like, uh, nah, but uh. Uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, so like, uh, yeah, like, uh, you're a man on the road, like, how do you deal with, like, relationship, like, personal, like, relationships? <laughs> I'm gonna ask, bro. You don't have to answer stuff. It's very personal stuff. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want to, but, like, how do you deal with that stuff? Like, saying, because, like, uh, I, 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 I've lost some good ones because... On the road, yeah. Yeah, because, like, I was on the road, and then it, 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 it's like, uh, you're on the road, you're around people for, like, two weeks, three yeah. months. Who never knows much at a time around people. Yeah. Saying you're lucky if you get a single room, say the, the door yeah. is popping, you get the single room. Yeah, you know what yeah, yeah. But like, uh, what if you oh. don't get the shit popping? You know what I'm saying? What? That's your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, Does that uh, affect the life? Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. But, uh, but uh, yeah, it, 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 it's like uh, when I come back home, Saying usually Shardy want to be like, oh, let's get together. You're saying, but I was just around people for like 20, 30 days, you know. So, 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 what do you? So, how do you deal with like that? You know, like. We got a lot of people that tune in. 
So how do you deal with that? Like, uh, I, like, okay. like uh, uh, is that like a struggle? Cause like, I, I just, I just don't like, well, I guess I do. I've tried and I failed many a times, you know what I'm saying? It's like, is, is, is that like a, a, a something that has come up with the with the travel issues and like one of the downsides or yeah you know what yeah I, I it's, it's, it's a rough thing you know but you know if you're in a relationship with someone they pretty much they should already know what's up because they they knew the what life it was they knew when, when they first started dating you you know what I'm saying well, people think they know because that shit look good on paper. It looks all cool and shit on TV. Saying they're the musician and shit. Like, but like... Yeah. But when it comes down to it, it's like... They want you home. They want y'all your time. They don't want you to practice. No, nah, I want they, you to practice. They don't want you to compose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's hard to... And, 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 and you care about them too, you know? And you want to fucking make time and all that shit. But like... So, so what do you do now? Uh, go on Instagram now. Switch it up. What up, Graham? Insta fam. Yeah, you gotta get a bit. Ooh, more. I like this angle better. Go to Insta fam. One more no, but like, yeah. Okay, so, okay. so, so, how do you, so, how do you live, like, yeah, how do you live with that? Man, that's, a, that's, that's a tricky question, man. It's, it's gotta find that right person that, that's understand that lifestyle. But it's you think she has to be a musician? You think she has to be outside of music? She gotta just be un, under be someone who just gets it. Could be either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I, you know, cause I, you know, even even if you 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 date a musician, they they may not get it either. It doesn't especially yeah. if you out of town. Oh yeah. I, I I've been in situations like that where I was just out of town. You playing? She teaching. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying that don't that don't necessarily work. Or you can have somebody that doesn't well, do music who does understand. Yeah. Yeah, that works too. Saying, which is possible. Just gotta find an understanding person. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, What's up, y'all? Yeah, but uh, also like uh, like uh, what's it called? When you uh, travel, I know sometimes you hear an accent. You know what I'm saying? And it's easy to fall in love out there too. It's like. <laughs> How do you deal with that? And, and, and plus, you American, you know saying, and I, I know the African American male when he's abroad. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Shit yeah. get crazy sometimes. You know what I'm saying it's like, cause you're not supposed to be there. So everybody else be traveling. Yeah. Saying, but when you come out there, they be like, oh, you know what I'm saying it's like. I mean, we know everybody knows musicians. It's, it's easy for musicians to get attention. Attention. Yeah. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with attention. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, no, I heard you, you know, say. Yeah, yeah. Especially, you know, you, it's it's easy. It's almost easy because if somebody sees you on stage. Oh yeah, you that's, know, that's how I know I played a good show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if I get some attention, right after the show, so, no, if somebody comes to and talks to me, saying it's converse with me, what attention. Up, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's like uh, yeah. I wonder what is. What is what sometimes, you know? Because I wonder if I just want to just leave, leave the, the, the States, leave New York. I, I, I feel like that sometimes, you, you know. know but it's so live and popping out here, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it is live. There's no, there's no other place like New York. That's the thing. Even Tokyo. And to yo. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yo, TJ. Whatever, T. Whatever, T. TJ's TJ supposed to be here. Oh yeah, man. Where you at, shout, out, <laughs> shout out gateways though. That's what's up though. Say, so, get your money. So, but uh, yeah, yeah. What's it called? Uh, uh, oh my God. See, see what happens when we be sidetracking. <laughs> but we can edit all of this part, all this dead space, and yeah, the actual, yeah. the release of the episode. Yeah. That's true. Even 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 Nick said. I'm there in spirit. Not good <laughs> enough. There's no other place like this. You you. Oh, yeah. I, I know, I, I know, I left, I bounced and went to Miami for a minute, but you know, I, yeah, well, yeah. I, I saw this band performing on, uh, just, just watching it uh, on the live broadcast at the Village Underground, and shoot, man, I was like, damn, I need to get back to New York, because I was, I'm like, man, I'm just like, not Stag creative. Stagnant, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when I, get, when I go back home to Boston, like, I get the itch, like, right away, like, I gotta get back to New York. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And then after I leave New York for like two, three weeks, I'm like, all right, it's time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's just something about the city. But like, like, uh, yeah, they, they, 
I guess I'm trying to think my number two city I've ever been to. Probably, probably yeah, probably Tokyo. Yeah, it's popping over there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember we went we went out clubbing and then we went down to this basement clubbing and then they opened up the gates. The shit was fucking like sunny as yeah, sunny as hell. We got out of there early in the morning, but uh, yeah, it was a good times though. But uh, yeah, man, the year with the, with the first time I went to Japan was with the the Duke Ellington orchestra. Oh damn! And we went there for a month. Oh man! Like the, for my first time ever, like oh, that's probably the longest I ever spent there. But that was like my first time. Oh gosh! It was awesome though. You said you that's the time you went to Sapporo. Did I go to Sapporo that time. I, I, I think month. so. I think yeah, so because yeah, uh, a month. Yeah, you must have. Cause uh, it, it was like a the, the blue note kind of kind of okay. you up. At like different venues, they, it, it's kind of like a blue note circuit. I don't, Isn't the fried food crazy out there? That's all good. The way they fry the food in the, like the, the sushi, the sea urchin. Yeah. Man, I'd be into that ramen, dog. Yeah, the, yeah ramen. That ramen. Is that that ramen that, right, Papa? Yo, nah. <laughs> that ramen out there. It just like, wasn't. You just, you just wanted to be reminded, but it wasn't the same. That ramen over there was the joint. Yeah, yeah. Charleston. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sounds like ramen. Nick, so Nick you've been to Japan, right? Uh, I think you only go to Paris. That's us for the country in Morocco. Oh, Ronnie. Hey. <laughs> no, nah. nah, so I'm saying I think should have been here, man. We had the, the Gateway Special. We're going to get up here next time. Same we got that. TJ. We, we, we haven't been there yet. Okay. Can we do some, like, we, like daily? Like, what do you do personally in your day to day? Every. Every day at uh, I heard you're a gym rat. Is that true? We hear that you have a really extensive uh, stretch routine. I'm, I'm, oh yeah, daily. Yeah, well, yeah I, I actually do. Actually, I don't know if you're joking or you. Not joking. I did hear this. From who? Uh oh. Oh well, just tell us about it. <laughs> we'll get to that. That's the next question. <laughs> <laughs> don't reveal it. No, I, I, I but I do do I, I, I do uh, yoga stretches. That's the first thing I do in the morning. Yeah, I don't like, do yoga as much. Same way. What type of yoga? Restorative. I, I, I don't know. Power. Then yes, I didn't even know I was doing yoga room. until somebody else told me I was. I just do it at home. It's, it's okay. like stretches for my back. I wouldn't back. know the difference either. The lower back, what? Yeah, I mean, from my spine, scoliosis in my back. So you got scoliosis? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You used to wear a back brace in high school. Uh, yeah, uh, every now and then. Oh, for real? I've been wore it a while, but I, I have, I have a brace. Like, yeah. if I'm just feeling real out of it. But, you know, the more I uh, work out and stay in shape, it takes I'm, I'm, care of it. I'm pretty much fine. Do you use foam rollers? At the gym. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those things are nice. No, nah, no. Nah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, it's like, nah, a, it's nah, like we, a massage. Now, nah, we both, like, 80s babies. I remember that shit back in, like, I remember at your school. That shit was, like, man, bulky. <laughs> oh, no, nah, no. Nah, this, this, this is the joint, like, cats be wearing in the gym. Just, like, so, for, okay. just for a little support. I ain't going to have no, like, okay. nah, 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 nah. nah Silicon nah. shit, whatever that, like, it's the... Like, Mel, what's good? I remember my boys like used to wear like rib cages. Like my boy has scoliosis and whatnot. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that's some serious stuff. But like he couldn't play like certain sports, but he did like other sports, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah man. So I, I, that's saying. the first. That's the first thing I do. But in, yeah. in general, every day, no matter what, even if I've been hanging out, uh, whatever the case is, at ten thirty, I start practicing. Like you, you, lately it's been ten actually. Ten. Yeah, I just, I just, I just started practicing like just. And I, you know, I, the stuff it's I 10:42 use. 10:42. In, in the morning. morning. In the morning. Oh, oh. <laughs> in the morning, girl. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting late. Come on. <laughs> time. What time is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. uh, yeah, but I, I just deal. I just deal with a lot of the, just like the basics and fundamentals. I like to do all that stuff early. That way, if I, somebody calls me for saying anything, I'm just ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been doing so much fun, fun, fundamentals. Like I did like a little quick warm up. It usually takes me a while to warm up, but this I did something quick at home. I, I, I did the showcase I was telling you about early, earlier. Yeah. By the time I got there, man, I was just ready to go. Yeah, I was just ready. Now, my boy John Russell said uh, New England Conservatory. I don't think he even plays trumpet anymore, saying, but Petrushka like is a, like a serious like trumpet. Huh? So. Yeah, yeah. How's that going? <laughs> And like, and like this dude, he never played excerpts. He just did warm ups and like just did like little rudiments like all day. Yeah. And saying then it was time to hit the ish. You know what I'm saying? He would hit the ish. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? And he then would like hit the ish, you know. And, and, and then he would, blow, <laughs> he, would, he, would, he would blow it out of the park every time, man. And like, yeah. It, 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 it saddens to me like to know that he doesn't even play anymore. 
But uh, yeah. Salute. On that note, yeah. I actually gotta head out, guys. I gotta get to a What's an that? appointment. It's ten. It's ten forty two. Ten forty five. But I've actually gotta go because I gotta somewhere. I gotta be. Okay. Not not that I don't mean this is disrespect. I don't no, mean that. No, no, I just no, 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 no. Be somewhere at eleven. Jesus. But Shreve, dude, it's been a pleasure. All right, okay. You guys should keep going. You should keep talking. No, no, we Don't stop to, the train no, just because I'm, I'm hopping off. This is my stop. I don't stop. know we got you that late. No, no, keep we, going. We've, I mean, we've gone for like now. That's, that's, that's an, an hour, hour and a half five. at least. Oh, shit. So. But you haven't got the full story. That was Act 1. This no, is just no, the no. end of Act 1 when Dr. Chen We have another three hours. Dr. Chen dies in the end of this episode. That was just the warm-up. Now we're going to go to the part that we prepared for. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, like, uh, yeah, that, that's, what's it called? Uh, who, who is uh, some of the some of the you, you know with, with those excerpts? You know, that's that has a lot just to do with just um, you know, first you know, phrasing. That's that's what that's that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, I'm not no classical trumpet player, but I'm not no classical trumpet player, but that's what that's that's what I mean, I'm not no classical trumpet player by any means, but you know, a lot a lot of it just has to do with phrasing and knowing the style, how to. You know, articulate every note. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, that's why you, that's why you're so like, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to sound like it's, it's a totally different sound. You have to, it's something that not anybody can just walk up and just just play that. You know, what yeah. I'm nah, like right now, I got some like tracks I've been working on. It's like just some elementary stuff, you know. But like, it's just like uh, it's just so funny when I bring it back to that when me and going back and forth. With the, with the sound engineer, you know, it's just like his knowledge compared to my knowledge, you know, of just sound, you know, like, because I know, like, the style I'm trying to get it in, but, like, he understands sound and, like, on that yeah, same yeah, level, yeah. I'm trying to get the style, so when you bring those two things together, it feels like we can make something, but, yeah, nah, I definitely hear what you're talking about. Mm. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah, man. What's it called? Uh, I'm trying to think, uh, yeah, like, uh, what's it called? Who, like, who are some of your, like, main influences, not influences, like, like, uh, people that you perform with that you can, like, like, top dogs, like, because I saw today, I was looking through your stuff, like, Mace. So oh, was, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That, 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 that was just recently, actually. Yeah, yeah. That, I never, that I, was just, like, on the corner. It just seemed like some <laughs> random, yeah, 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 yeah. It like some random thing, but, like. In fact, it was, it, it actually was yeah. random, actually. You oh, just, okay. He heard y'all playing before or something? He just asked y'all to come on he or something? Or? By oh, that's some allergies kicking in. Uh-uh. Um, uh, no, uh, what's this? Uh, Jason uh, Dissu, trombone player. Okay. He, he literally, literally called me up and was like, yo, where you at? I'm like, I just, I just walked in the crib, man. I just walked in right now. He's like, you want to play with Mace? I'm like, what you, what you mean? Like Mace, the rapper. <laughs> he's like, yeah. I'm like, hell yeah. He's like, all right. You need you need to get in a cab like right now. Come, it's, a, it's an outdoor uh, festival or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I yeah, I, 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 I jumped right in the cab. Was there? Was there ready to play? Learn the music. We, I literally learned the music outside of like where everybody's standing outside. Me, is me, him. He just taught me the part real quick. It's and just I, a, it's just a couple of hits with that stuff, right? When you just do it, hip hop pop stuff. So yeah, when you do that stuff, it, it's just like it was just a matter of me memorizing it on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it was cool, man. But like, so that's nothing. So like, who was like the illest person you ever, ever performed with, like that you remember? Uh, Winter, like, probably Winter. Winter. Well, Winter. we all read that yeah, article. Yeah, about, about to say that. This is yeah. 2002 now, article that now, talks about you. Yeah, yeah. I remember well, reading it back in the day when. Like I was back at MSM with that. article. This you is like an education week article. I have it in my bag. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's. Well, it's like all about yeah, yeah, yeah. him, it's like the first nine him. pages. But you're like the last page is about. Oh yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Yeah, no, like uh, yeah, that was a dope story, man. Yeah. yeah. It's because it's all about Whitney Marcellus. It's like the guy, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the the Duke Ellington of our time, you know, and like uh, and like. Uh, they throwing in a Sharif Clayton at the end, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all mm -hmm. battling for a whole page. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a significant yeah, 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 yeah. It's <laughs> like uh, 
Yeah, what was that like growing up? Like, like, because he said it. Like, well, how old were you? Because I was reading I mean, that was thinking you were in high school, yeah, right? So, essentially, I but you say. and it also you already knew him before this like interaction that you had with him, where you yeah, your school I, won the contest. Yeah, I met him in Miami. Yeah, and uh, I just always called him up, asked him questions, and just about stayed. your. Oh yeah, I was having about, a, about your lips. Yeah, that's what he said. Which is which is maybe a thing you're, sure, yeah. you're still working on. We hear. We need, to, we need to close that door. Actually, <laughs> I may need to get some fresh air, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Should uh, we? Uh, uh, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep going. Like we can at least move the cat out. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say. Um, what I'm saying now? The the Whitney Marcellus. Uh, we asked you like 15 questions at once. That's our bad. We were talking about the... Uh, that was for the essentially Ellington competition. That was a yeah. high school competition. It was just... It, I know it was just a great experience uh, just playing with him. Because I... Oh, how I met him. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Originally, he played at the James L. Knight Center in Miami. And uh, after the show, he was just talking with all the kids and everything. And asked him, can I play this one? I didn't play this one. It was cool. Just, I just stayed in touch with him, man. Just gave me his phone number. I just called him up every, every once in a blue moon. Yeah. Anytime I was in New York, which was well, I'm in, which was for the essentially Ellington competition. Yeah. You know, I would try to link. Well, in the article, he says that you called him a lot, and he wasn't always able to answer. But maybe he was. I, yeah, I, I did call him a lot. <laughs> I really did call him a lot. Yeah, and I, I, I was having, I remember during that time, I was having issues with my my chops. It, it seemed like I couldn't, I couldn't play trumpet long. Like anytime I tried to play long, my lip would swell up. I mean, like swell up, swell up, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if it was. I don't, I, I don't know if it's the mouthpiece or something, but I was like, man, it was. Yeah, that's like a, a thing with trumpet players, cause or mouthpiece players, cause I know a trombone player who uses like a, a plastic mouthpiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's like have a allergic reaction, yeah, reaction. Yeah, to the to the brass. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or the lacquer, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. That's like a different thing for y'all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? Uh, yeah, like Whitten was like. Uh, Big dog, it seems to be a big influence on your life. Well, not on your life, but just on the jazz. And yeah, yeah, he, he's like the he's like the guy. He's like yeah. the, the CEO now. He's run, <laughs> run, run, so it seems like it. Well, yeah, he, yeah, he's yeah. Run, running the whole jazz network, man. I just like remember, the president. I just remember like I looking on the back of like playbills right? and seeing my bottle watches with Wayne Marcello. Oh, man, he, he's a celebrity. Got his own line of watches. Who else got that popping? Uh, Lang Lang, the... He got his own Adidas, he got his own Maserati, he's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, and like, yeah, Whitney's doing that same thing too, man. I mean, he's, he's cool, man. I mean, I used to always, I used, I used to just go to his, when I first moved up to New York, I used to always go to his house. Oh, damn. I, I would just, I would just pop up. <laughs> I'm serious, that was the best, the best way to just do it. To surprise him. Just, just go, just go. Yeah, yeah, just ring the door yeah, about yeah, if he's there. Yeah, yeah, if he's there, he's there. If you let me in, let me in, if not. Yeah, yeah. You know, he always offers me some food, we, we sit mm-hmm. down, we... We chat. I've never had like an official trumpet lesson like with with Winton. Yeah, it's just all I, knowledge talk. Sure, I want to get one now. Shoot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Um, which, which is possible. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah, we just we just talk about all stuff. You know, it, it's it tell me. I mean, it always tell me some stuff. It's some funny stuff. I can't. I ain't gonna say on no. Of course, you can't mm-hmm. say everything. You got some secrets. <laughs> nah, what's it called? Uh, yeah, like uh, so, 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 uh, so, so, what's like next for you? Cause like with the North South, and I'm just, I'm just trying to continue, continue what I'm doing and just make taking it to another level. You got new projects coming out, or it's just like no, more, more tours coming? Is that what it is? I, what we're saying now? I, I'm writing, writing new material. I don't have like a. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out a concept. Once I figure out a concept. Um, you gonna put it together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find the thread. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the thing is, when you put, if I, because if you gonna invest your money into something, you you gotta you gotta plan this out. Like, if I'm gonna, how do I sell this product? How do I, like, you gotta imagine yourself as like a, a product at the store. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. how do I? You gotta write out a business plan. That's what I like to do. I like to tr- treat it as a. You business. write you write it down on paper. You're saying you write it down on the whiteboard, like mm-hmm. the business plan. Even yeah, when I record when I record that album, I, I had everything written out. I knew it. I knew, I knew most of the musicians I wanted. Uh, I, I I knew everything. I knew pretty much everything. I knew how I wanted it. 
I, I, I knew who I wanted to, to arrange them strings for me. Yeah. Um, there's one one person I there's one person in that in that section that I did not that I, I you know somebody else referred that person that was outside the crew yeah and that person you know <laughs> you know what I'm talking about right I I, I think I have a small idea <laughs> saying it's very vague to the audience right now they're like what the fuck is going on it's the other person in the room. <laughs> <laughs> this person was like, oh, he's he's killing. It's like, I listen back. He said, man, it's, it's kind of me to be on this, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that happens, man. Some people get placed up because they know how to schmooze better than others. But some people got the raw talent like yourself. And like, they put in the work, you know. Yeah, for sure. I'm going, I'm just going with the flow right now, man. I don't, I'm not sure what. What's what, what's next, man? You know, cause I, cause I know you can adapt. Cause like I was always wondering, like, I could also see you doing like a Robert Glasper type of thing mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, say, yeah, 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 for sure. I can see you like you did the whole like uh, saying, cause like the album's like bebop is jazz, it's like Latin, it's yeah. like, it's, it's, like I got that's right. R and B, it's like you can't even call it like a jazz yeah. album. I don't think personally. Yeah, 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 saying, for sure. But it's not. I, yeah, but uh, it's not like a straight head album. Yeah, at all. In, the in fact, it's nice. There's no, I don't think there's any straight head songs on. Oh, soft leaves and more or something. That's kind of straight ahead. But I, I did arrange it and change it around a bit. So yeah, yeah, but for the most part, it's like very every track is yeah very different. You know, saying so it's so you know, it's it, so, so it's that you have variety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think you film score at all. You ever think about that? Or I would love to, bro. Oh, I. I, I I think I like writing just as much as I like uh, playing. Sometimes I like it more. Now we do commercials over here. I'm gonna send you something. Let's do it, man. I'm that ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sam. Let's, let's, let's get it in, man. Yo, but yo, man, I think we yeah we we've been out here for a minute now. We yeah. should probably. We all we all need like oxygen. I need, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a cigarette. Shit. Right there. Okay. Now, man, yo, let them know your Instagram, your Facebook, let them know your IG, your um, your Twitter. That's a good on IG. <laughs> Everything Sharif Clayton on Facebook, and website sharifclayton.com, Instagram, Sharif Clayton, Twitter, Sharif Clayton. Yeah, what's your social security number? Give people your social security real quick. Everything. Zero, 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 <laughs> zero, zero. That's nobody's social security number. Don't believe that shit. I'm the one, the um, only zero. <laughs> Oh, what's good? Um, yeah, nah, thanks. Well, it was a pleasure to be, be on here, man. Thanks for having me. Yo, man, thank Appreciate you for coming you. out. Saying, yeah. Thanks for coming out, representing Miami to New York, North and South. Saying, <laughs> Tunisia. Tunisia. I said Malaysia. Right. Saying Tunisia. Malaysia. Malaysia. <laughs> Not Tanzania, but uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man. Um, yeah, Shreve is a big dog out here holding it down New York City. Saying, if you want to hear that high trumpet playing, like that lead trumpet playing, that boss. Type shit, man. This is the man right here, saying, "Listen to the album North and South." Saying he's he probably got some other projects coming up soon for you. Yeah, saying, yeah. "Stay tuned, please stay tuned." And like, if you're out, if for your people's out in Africa, man, please check this out, man. Like, liquid, saying you get to see the real Shreve right here. Saying just hanging, just chilling. Saying no, no promo, just 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 being, just being. But yeah, just do it. Just go out there, just do it. All right, yo. Yo, any last gems you want to drop on the people? Any, any last bit of that, advice? That was it. Just go out there and just do it, man. Anything you trying to do, just go out there and do it. You ain't, you ain't got nothing to lose. Just try it. If it doesn't work, try try something else. Try a different way of, of, of trying to. How can I? What what what's what a, a what's what's a different route I can t take to get to the to get to the finish line? To get to the goal, Sam. You know. To get to the goal, the finish line, we're gonna make it. Saying that's the medicine right there, that's the remedy. <laughs> saying check us out on Instagram, yeah, Metcalf, saying Twitter, all that, Facebook. All right, we'll get to y'all soon. soon. Till next time. <laughs> pay the bills, gotta pay the bills. This episode has been sponsored by Jellyfish Treasury. Jellyfish Treasury is a line of jewelry and other custom created conceptual and sentimental treasures designed to both celebrate and contribute to life's beauty. You can collab with the jeweler and put the things you love in your accessories. Jellyfish Treasure began as a series of earrings with images of artists collage with recycled materials, antique findings, and colorful beads from all around the world. Custom colors, custom fit styles for your vision. There are many ready-made items available, though the real heart of Jellyfish Treasure is making something out of the buyer's sentiment and the maker's imagination. They're already product made. 
If you're not sure what you want, check it out. Get some ideas. Make an order. Go. Adorn yourself with your muse. Sharif, thanks for holding it down with us today. Sharif is the man. Sharif is the first one to uh, to put us on that live stream. We just recorded audio before. And then when Sharif came through, so we, we, we threw on the live stream. And that was uh, pretty cool to see the response from that. But yeah, thank you again. And yeah, and Sharif's just a great character, great person, great musician. And thank you for coming through, Sharif, for real. Real talk. But uh, yeah, thank you to our to our sponsors for this episode, Vangloria and Jellyfish Treasury. That's V A I N G L O R I A. Yeah, and that's Jellyfish Treasury, J E L L Y F I S H T R A A S U R Y. Yeah, find them on Instagram, check out the pictures, check out the items, see what you like, you know, make an order or something, get something for me even, get something for your friend, get something for your significant other, your mama, your bestie, whoever. But yeah, uh, the featured artist. Of this episode, who we bring to the table today is uh, Mean Joe Scheme. Mean Joe Scheme, saying MC out of New York City, performed one on one time before. Saying the boy's hot, man. Always got bars. Seen him at a couple open mics for Freestyle Mondays and little saying hip hop thingy things here and there. So, uh, I, I, I follow him on. Uh, on uh, what is it, Instagram and on social media. He's got a dope album called You Gotta Watch. He's got some new stuff coming up soon. Can't be revealed yet. Everything's all guavo though. But uh, yeah, the song that I'm, uh, I'm bringing out from him is called It Was Written. I don't know, something about the beat and the way he graces the beat just, just real tough to me, you know? And I really enjoyed saying the track. I played this track for at least a month and a half straight, you know? Saying in, in my daily wake and bake routine. But uh, yeah. Check that out. And the, the other track, saying there's this other guy that I met named Sydney Phoenix. Saying I was just freestyling with day with some friends, and he was a friend of a friend. And then uh, he started spitting some bars. The boy had some bars. And, like, uh, checked out his SoundCloud. And then I uh, went to a performance. The kid's lit, you know. And, uh, yeah, let me share that with y'all. You know, and he has a song called Time of My Life. And, yeah, sometimes I feel like that, too, man. Just shine at the time of my life. And I hope you are, too. So enjoy the song. Enjoy the track. Show some love. That, yeah, if you want to know anything more about these artists, the link will be in the bio. All right, enjoy the music. Hey. One time, one time. Uh, one time, one time. Uh, it goes, yo. Several times a day, times a day I plot to take over More than the dead, but the wake's over, but the wake's over I'm not tripping, son, I'm way sober And if you shooting from the waist, you better prove that you can save someone Hail Mary, full of graciousness, the patience in the first phase Got me learning how to get the first place Had to start around my birthday If I wanna lead you down the path, I gotta murk a few things Went from killer be killed to killer kill be Either way, dog is dead off the head, don't mean my style sweet Greatness in life Life and every feeling to existence Failure to cut the ribbon is futile like resistance What's missing is the work that's efficient Cook me in my kitchen, have you breathing out the bubble in your pivots No chill since April, things really became real Went from frozen at the door to throwing out the old skills It's all over because of me, huh? It's all over because of me, huh? I see you hate the presentation I see you hate It was written on your face, son It's all over of me, huh? Hey. It's all over because of me, huh? Hey. I see you hate the presentation. Uh. Hey. It was written Yo. on your face, son. Hey. Really, hey. I write tutorials on how to feel glorious. I came from the floor with this, so pardon my forwardness. You occupying Wall Street space. I see you loitering. I need the Lucci. Relaxation and Bora Bora him. Uh. All respect due to those before us. They say I'm acting 90s because it makes them feel euphoric. I wonder what they got for dope nigga and thesaurus. What they got? Probably a picture of Joseph looking enormous For real These days I wake up and feel comfortable I'm supposed to be here breathing the same air as y'all And heal it off for the fallen The pieces the 
secret to ballin' I got a pocket of gems to ensure for my calling. Do payin' over do who's playin' It's 10,000 hours left, y'all 2 k I'm saying, do payin' over do who's playin' It's 10,000 hours left, and y'all are 2 k all day It's all over cause of me, huh? Hey. It's all over cause of me, huh? Hey. I see you hate the presentation I see uh. you hate. It was written on your face, son huh? It's all over because of me, huh? Hey. It's all over because of me, huh? Hey. I see you hate the presentation. I see uh. you hate. It was written on your face, son. Hey. Hey. Hey.